five seconds. Sir, as we look at our imports, which have increased by nine to ten times of our exports, we find that the major elements which have led to this shooting up of our imports have been first crude oil and petroleum products which occupy now 70% of our imports. Mr. Finance Minister, in the Associated Chambers of Commerce, meeting yesterday gave the figure of 72%. And he said that we must plan to bring it down to 60%. So the major components of our huge import bill are first the petroleum products and crude oil and second the group of our items of maintenance such as fertilizers, edible oils, cement etc. Now. Mr. Vice Chairman, my fourth point is that the import policy which has been announced in this house for this year does not deal with the main elements, these two groups of elements, namely crude oil and petroleum products and fertilizers, edible oil and cement which are causing this huge deficit. We have got a good import policy, but it has nothing to do with the elements which are causing the main mischief in our trade balance. Let me summarize or recall what has been stated in our new import policy. The new import policy has removed 160 items from the open general license it has shifted 42 from the restricted to the banned list and it has placed 63 new items under the open general license. Now, if I am not mistaken, Mr. Vice Chairman, this import policy will reduce our imports this year from that of last year by rupees 100 crores. Now, this rupees 100 crores reduction of our imports by this new import policy is about 0.8% of our total import bill. That is all that our import policy does because the new import policy has nothing to do, as I said, with the two major elements causing the import bill to go up namely crude oil and petroleum products and fertilizers, edible oils and cement. Now, may I say that with rupees 100 crores reduction, the new import policy is going to economies on the import bill for the next year is not likely to be on account of the import bill on items other than petrol, etc. If the finance minister is right, if the government is right, and the president's address is right, there is going to be an upsurge of 10% in industrial development if investments and industries pick up this import policy will not lead to any economy as rupees 100 crores reduction in imports will not come about. Therefore, I leave this point by saying that the import policy of the government is good and is necessary for what I call non-important items that we need to have outside the import policy. Therefore, I want to plead in the house with the government 
फॉर अ नेशनल एनर्जी पॉलिसी मिस्टर वाइस चेयरमैन आई एम वन ऑफ द इकोनॉमिस्ट्स हु हैज स्टडीड द एनर्जी प्रॉब्लम एंड पब्लिश्ड अ पॉसिबल नेशनल पॉलिसी अंडर विच देयर कैन बी एट लीस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इकोनॉमी इन द नेक्स्ट ईयर इन आवर यूज ऑफ क्रूड एंड पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट्स इट इज नॉट द टाइम to go into them and it does not apply to the ministry of commerce but the deficits in our imports which are primarily due to the deficits in import of crude oil for our national energy policy which is urgently needed once again would plead for this as this is one of the means of getting our imports in some short of in line with our exports as far as fertilizers edible oils and cement are concerned i do not see any reason why we are continuing these large and increasing imports of these items instead of utilizing the existing capacity of our units fully the story of capacity utilization in fertilizers and cement companies for the last year makes sad reading therefore outside the import policy the government needs to take action on these two groups of items the crude oil and petroleum and the fertilizers the edible oils and cement to make us more self reliant and self sufficient in our production as one of the means of having our imports in line with our exports my fourth comment mr vice chairman is with regard to our exports we have planned in the seventh plan for exports amounting rupees 9800 crores and the new policy which has been set forth comprises of more items placed under open general license controls on a large number of units removed 12 items added to the banned list making a total of 71 items and 3 items be canalized also this gradual taking away of controls shall help the industry to grow in the right directions as envisaged in the budget stop